welcome back to the post credit snack, your new bite-sized episodes. I'm your host, Loosh. I've got my boy, Lucky, over here, and we are here to talk about something huge Massive. that went on last weekend. Massive. Nom, 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 nom. This wasn't a snack. This was a freaking buffet. Mate, this is the buffet at the Crown Casino. Well, not at Crown Casino. I don't know if you know this, but Vegas is very well known for its buffets. Mm. And holy crap, CinemaCon 2024 served up a buffet <laughs> that has, like, I just, my mind is blown with, like, I've got three pages of stuff to talk about in 15 minutes to get through it. So Good shall luck. we get straight to Let's it? Let's just jump straight in, my Mate, friend. Mate, you did a bit of research. What did you find out about CinemaCon this year? So across the three days in LA, Vegas, there was a lot of news Las to come Vegas. Out. LA Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah, LA Vegas. Las LA is LA, you goon. No, nah, no, nah, it's Las Vegas. <laughs> but some some massive movies. Oh, finally monsters. dropped some trailers. Yep. More information's come out and whatnot. I'm just going to get off the mark here. Um, Twister. Twisters 2. Twisters 2. has uh, So 28 years ago, I think the original was made. Something like that, yeah. So I loved that movie. That was, was back at a time when disaster movies were so hot. It was. It was uh, Helen Hunt and um, Bill Paxton, who unfortunately is no longer with us. But uh, I remember when that a, movie came out and everyone's inside joke at school was, her name's not Helen Hunt, it's Helen. Yeah, good job, guys. Um, <laughs> Children. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Twister's getting a sequel. Guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive. Go, 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 go. A um, little bit excited for that one. That was a nice, easy watch back in the day. What else uh, you got? Oh, uh, I've got Wicked. The best way to bring folks together. Something has changed within. Is to give them a real good enemy. <gasps> You're green. Yeah, two parts. Yes. They've broken it up into two parts. Yes. That was surprising. And yes. apparently the, the, the footage looked so much better than what we've seen in the original trailers. Yes. So that's good. So Ariara Grande is going to play a starring role in that. So. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that comes out and that it's an absolute banger because yep. the, the musical deserves good treatment cinematically. It certainly does. It certainly does. Um, now, this is a bit of a left field one here. There's, uh, there was chat. There was talk on the uh, – there was short talk on day one, I think it said uh, – Turning Monopoly into a movie. And who's producing it? Our girl, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is How? producing the Monopoly movie. How the hell are they going to make that? I don't know, but I want to see Margot Robbie in a moustache and a top hat <laughs> dancing around <a> Monopoly board. <laughs> Um, I just don't know how they're going to make that. But we did we spoke about that on a previous episode that we didn't know how they were going to make Barbie. And um, here and, we are and, sitting yeah. sitting here a couple of weeks, a couple of like a year and a half later, mm -hmm. and thinking how the hell did Barbie not win any Oscars? I 100 percent so, agree, my friend. Did you hear about John Wick's ballerina? Yes, with Anna D. Amas and She's a cameo off. with Keanu in it as well. Yep. That's going to be exciting. Yes. Alien Romulus. There was a new trailer that dropped for Alien Romulus, and apparently it was it was described as beautifully brutal. So that's exciting. Um, a couple of weird ones. A couple of a couple that kind of like felt like they came left uh, out of left field. Yes. Um, Smile too. I don't know if you ever saw Smile, the the first one with the you know, you remember that movie that had the poster of the the woman who had like the oh yes I remember that that was a creepy movie I watched yeah. it I actually really loved it. Um, there's a second one and it's coming out this year. It's coming out in uh, October 18th this year. So I'm, okay. I'm looking forward to that. Yep. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Yes. They, they, te uh, May 10th. Generations ago, apes and humans lived side by side. Why do they hunt her? She knows the human secrets. You choose humans over apes. 
They stole my village. I know where they're taking your clan. No, Ben, for your king. Never. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes in IMAX. Rated PG-13. Get tickets now. And we got another trailer, but we also got 13 minutes of footage from the movie. And it was said to be beautiful and emotional. Wow. I'm really looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, I'm keen. I love the uh, I love what they've done with it. Yeah. The, the latest three were all brilliant. Um, so Agreed. yeah, I'm keen to go see that, definitely. What else did you see? Furiosa. Yeah, George Miller. Okay. A lot of controversy about this movie. A lot yes. of people sitting there going, oh, I don't know. It it's just... seems like exactly the it, it just seems like the same as Mad Max Fury Road. But over this weekend, the critics are saying that there was an expansion of that storytelling Whoa. that has gotten people really excited. Well, so they needed something because from what I saw, it's just a mimic of the previous one, which was brilliant. But though, I didn't see the need for another one. So George Miller can do no wrong. He though. knows what he's doing. So I'm going to put it. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust I'm him. He's a Sydney him. boy. I'm going to trust yeah, him. Yeah. Well, we've got our boy Chris Hemsworth is in the in the lead role there. Exactly. So. It's one we'll definitely go and have to see, my friend. Bro, they are remaking Nosferatu. Nosferatu. The, one of the original vampire movies. You remember oh. that black and white old 1940-something with the, the vampire with the bald head and the yep. two little teeth yep. and the yes, long so figure? I... They are remaking that. Good and it is them. out this year. Good on them. So there was footage from that that was shown this weekend as well, which, which kind of... Like, wow, I'd only just heard very recently that they were making. I didn't yeah. realize that they'd already gone into production. Oh, yeah. It looks creepy. Yeah. I can't so wait. It's not like Nicolas Cage playing Renfield. No. So no, it's, it's yeah. not Renfield. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real, like, Nosferatu is... Still to this day, people will go back and watch the old Nosferatu movie and be terrified by Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Oh, I'm, so. I'm, I don't mind uh, vampire movies, so yeah, I'll go same. and see that one with you. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice... Don't say it. Not going to say it. What did they show? New extended trailer. A new extended trailer. Yes. What's the What's the general feedback? Uh, it's positive. Okay. It is positive. Okay. Um, as we did discuss on another previous episode, Johnny Depp will be in there somewhere. Excellent. I was looking for him, but I couldn't find him. Yep. yep. I don't know where he is. So that's going to be... There's, there's gonna been be... some interesting talk about that movie because people... Obviously, Michael Keaton, who is an absolute legend and can do no wrong in my yep. mind. Yep. Um, but... The, the talk is obviously he has aged a fair bit since he originally did the movie. So yeah, that's fair. his version of Beetlejuice now, or Beetlegeist, now looks really off. It When I first watched it, it didn't, it did seem there was a, there were differences there that you can very easily kind of pick up. You can pick see out. that he's aged. Yeah, but mate, name a movie that he hasn't been brilliant in. Correct. Besides, this maybe, is the correct maybe, answer. Besides maybe Herbie Fully Loaded. You know what? You are allowed to be right <laughs> sometimes too. Yeah, Herbie Fully Loaded was a disaster. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, I, when I first heard that they were doing this sequel, I wasn't keen for it. I didn't think there was much of an audience, but the fans have spoken. Mm. They're keen and it's, they reckon it's going to be great. So uh, we'll definitely go and, uh, yeah, we'll have to see that as well. We've come, we're coming up with quite a list of uh, movies this year. So what, Mate, about, what this, else have you this got? Is, this is just insane. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Hang on. So South Park. Yeah. Are working on a brand new musical. And they're doing it with the assistance of the great Kendrick Lamar. You're joking. And I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I'm here for it. Well, you can even look at the original South Park, Bigger, Longer and Uncut film. You could actually look at that as a musical as well. Yeah. How many bangers can... Amen of that. Like, now, we don't know. This is the thing. We don't know if it's a South Park musical. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. But it's the guys who created South Park working on a musical yep. with Kendrick freaking Lamar. Their sense of humor is right up my alley. I know. So I am signing off on that. I'll camp at the front door, mate. I'm keen as mustard. More camp than a row of pink tents over here. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, um, M. Night Shyamalan came out on stage. Yep. And apparently there's three more movies of his coming out. So I don't know whether or not they're going to be tied to the same, I guess, loosely connected cinematic universe mm. that he's creating. Is that the ninth sense, the 12th sense, and the, the uh, 15th sense? No, I think no. it's going to be the 50 cents, the 75 cents, and the $1. <laughs> So what's old mate, what's old mate Shyamalan doing? There's, there's not a lot of information about what's coming out, yep. but but he's he's working on three apparently very big projects. So okay. look, I actually think he's a great storyteller. Now some people in Hollywood and some people outside of Hollywood fans in particular kind of make a bit of a joke about oh oh I'm not Shyamalan. Uh, I think he's great. Well, you go and speak to the actors that are in the in the in the boys club kind of thing. They all want to be part of his movie. Absolutely, they do. Like there would be a row of actors standing at the front of his office, pleading with him to be in these in these one of these three movies. Now, so, interestingly enough, we got some new Deadpool X Wolverine oh, footage. Oh, man, how, when is it? It's but coming out in May, isn't it's, it? It's like right around oh, the corner. But there was out. also rumor that M Night Shyamalan was involved in some way with that movie because there's actually photos of him on set. So there, so that could be one of the three. It could be a. I don't know if it's. I don't know if that's counted as one of the three, but really no, fascinating. No, no. So I'm meaning one of the three could be part of this potentially new and improved potentially universe. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Jesus, Christ. I would not be opposed to that. There is a Dark so... Phoenix movie with M Night Shyamalan as the director. Well, they need to give me yeah. that. Well, they need to fix it from the last one because oh, that was absolutely. a disaster. But how exciting is it? To be where we are right now, to be living in 2024. Minutes with, away. Like, where I cannot wait for Deadpool. We should just oh. go, when the tickets come on sale, let's just, let's, let's buy them. Now. I think they're actually on sale in like two weeks. Okay. Let's Trust let's, and believe we're going to the, mid, the opening we're night. We're going midnight screening. Absolutely. Red carpet. Absolutely. Anyone out there. And if, that, if no one's inviting us to the red carpet, I'll bring my own. Yeah. We've got red <laughs> chairs. We'll, 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 we'll just pull the chairs we'll up. We'll rip up at, uh, the uh, upholstery off these and just roll it out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, um, they also announced and showed some footage of what I think is going to be a really remarkable documentary called Superman, the Christopher Reeve oh, story. That's that's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tearjerker. Apparently, there was not a dry eye in yeah. the house when they showed the footage. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this very clearly. It is about damn time. Well, yeah, it's been what? Oh, it's been at least 15. Decades. Since he passed. Yeah, right? man. Yeah, well. like the 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 tragedy of what went on with him. That and, is and that is a, that's the perfect word to put it. There, there's just there's no other way to describe it. Was it was a polo accident, like, wasn't it? Honestly, the tragedy of of Christopher Reeve compares in my mind and my heart to the tragedy of Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, yeah, like it's on par. Yeah. So there's been um, a few out there. I'm I'm very but. I'm very interested in this, and I can't wait to see what it is. But mate. Oh, it's so time to talk about the main event. Well, I've got one here that's okay, right up. No, this is up there, though. Go. This is the pre-main event. The pre. Now, Transformers. Yes. And G.I. Joe. Oh, my God. Crossover film. Uh, uh, I feel like... I feel like they telegraphed that in a post credit scene in the last Transformers movie, actually. I haven't seen it. I've given up on the Transformers. Oh, no, nah, dude. That, that Beast Wars movie? The, 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 the Beast Wars Transformers on, movie? The one on Binge? Is that Freaking worth amazing. It? Okay, so good. All right. Well, G.I. Joe. Watch it. Steven Summers directed the first two. Yep. He kind of butchered them. Okay. A bit. It needs to, it needs to be redone. See, I was never a fan of G.I. Joe as a kid, so I never really watched the so movies. G.I. Joe was one of mine. Yeah, there I, you go. I love G.I. Joe. So yeah, you're playing G.I. Joe and I'm here watching Barbie. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Transformers and G.I. Joe, crossover film. Um, that was that was announced on, I think it was the third night. That's exciting. So that for me is huge, but this tops it all. This is the... This is the biggest snack of all time, this. Mate, this this is where the buffet comes in. This is lobster Mornay with Morton Bay bugs and what else you got? Everything. What we've got? Seafood buffet. On the 22nd of November this year. Oh, this year. Jesus. Quick. Gladiator 2. Bang. Now, footage was shown, and, and I'm, I'm quoting here. In this footage we saw. Yes. An entire buffet of fights. Yeah. We saw man versus man. We saw group versus group. We saw man versus rhino. We saw group of men versus sharks. 
Yes, Jesus. that really happened. <laughs> but what we also saw is four incredible actors yeah. and their stories start to unfold before our eyes in Paul Mescal, Denzel Washington, wow. Joseph Quinn, yep. and Pedro Pascal. Your boy. Holy crap. Man, the fact that Denzel's in this shows what kind of movie it's going to be because he doesn't just... He doesn't just accept anything willy-nilly, and he doesn't need the money. So for this, Ridley to... Scott doesn't yeah. make garbage. Eh, he he's, doesn't. He's made a few pretty ordinary. I don't movies think he has over the last fifteen years. I maybe. don't think he has, but he has made some bangers. And this, I think, may be better than the first one. Well, look, this is the thing. A lot of people were talking about, Does do we really need a sequel to potentially one of the greatest cinematic masterpieces of all time? I agree. And but... people went into CinemaCon going, no, we don't, but yep. we'll see what they've got. People came out of it going, when do tickets go on sale? Yeah, and I think the trailer's released in, well, I think it's two or three weeks, they like, said. matter of weeks. Yeah, so. So we're going to get to see a lot of this very, very soon. Well, let's, we'll, uh, we'll have to wait before we can comment, but I'm keen for it just because of the actors announced. Joseph Quinn, like, he's gone from uh, Stranger Things to all of a sudden he's in the Fantastic Four and he's in a Ridley Scott movie. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. That's, that's, a, that, he, that's a trajectory that uh, people dream of, my oh, friend. Oh, my God. The man's going to be a megastar. Mm -hmm. Mate, what a weekend it was. Massive. So much to digest there. Yep. I'm glad this was just a snack because if this was any longer, <laughs> I would be. I, I would. I would need a, a bloody wheelbarrow to get my head out of the the room. Get a forklift to drag you out <sighs> of the out of the uh, lunch room, mate. Uh, mate, what a snack. Um, what a weekend. So much content. I can't believe that there's that much coming out. Yep, 2024 yep. has already served up some absolute monster hits, and I use that word. On purpose. Yes, you um, did. Well but, done. mate, 2024 is going to go down as one of the greatest years in content, so I, I can't wait. Bring on May. Bring on May. Bring on June. Bring on November. Bring on August. Bring on September. There's movies every single month, and there it's is. just going to be crazy. But that's been us. We are the post credit show. This is the post credit snack. I'm Loosh. That's Lockie. Don't forget to say hi to your mum for me. Deuces. Bye-bye.